We love making these videos, don't we? Yes, we do. And what are we going to talk about today? Five things that will keep you poor. I got a new t-shirt. Isn't it a wonderful one, Normie? And it's the police who we always used to listen to when I was driving around in England in the 80s. Roxanne and all that good stuff. This was sent to me by Tony Chen. And we're just so grateful to you, Tony. And thank you for thinking about us and to adding to my collection of rock t-shirts. And if you are new to our channel, we are Tina and Norm, and we talk all things retirement or finances or whatever's going on. We're just two old fogies blathering on about nothing. <laughs> but we love it, don't we? And you're very welcome to join us every <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> Credit card debt team. Oh, oh, golly. We learned the hard way on this one, didn't we, Norm? Yeah, we 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 were living above our means in England, that's for sure. Yeah, this goes back to the early days of our married life when we thought we could kind of spend everything and buy everything we wanted, didn't we? And if we didn't have the cash, we put it on the credit card. Trouble is, we were keeping up with the Joneses. We were mortgage poor, trying to get those big houses. Um, luckily, I got a company car, so that did help. But by the time we left England, we had a substantial credit card debt, which we paid off through the sale of our house in England. Um, and it was about £12,000, which uh, in those days was about 24000 Canadian dollars um, in the 1991. Yeah. The thing, the thing about credit card debt is that you're paying such high interest rates. We all know that. Mm -hmm. But we keep doing it. I know, and it's so easy when the statement comes and it just says minimum payment, doesn't it? And yeah. people make the minimum payment and they don't realize just how much the rest of is compounding month after month. And if you're not careful, it can take you years to get rid of that debt. So if you have high interest uh, credit card debt, one of the best investments for you is to pay the debt off. Yeah. Because if you're paying anywhere between... 18 to 24 percent APR, um, that's a hell of a good return on your dollar. So pay it down. It is a good investment. When you get rid of it, put that money into uh, an investment account. And that brings us to the sister point, which is point number two. That you're not saving enough money. I wonder why. Yeah, and we had to learn this lesson too, didn't we? Uh, we did. So when we came to Canada, we came with a, a clean slate, no debt, yeah. and we've never had credit card debt since uh, no. when we arrived in 1992. We learned that lesson and we, we kept it. The Wealthy Barber was a turning point in our uh, married life because we read the book. Yes, we did. And we did exactly what he said, didn't we? we Pay ourselves first. We set up a pre-authorized yeah. uh, withdrawal from our account to an investment account of 10% of our take-home pay. Seemed a lot in the first two months. By the time month four came around, we'd forgotten we were even doing it. We didn't even miss it, did we? And that was yeah. the basis of our retirement fund. Yeah, was that once we'd put that money away, we learned to live on what was left. And it was great, wasn't it? Because we knew that we were building for our retirement. So if, we, if you're looking for sources of income, yeah. we would, we, we're strong uh, proponents of buying deals, looking around for the best price, um, shopping the flyers every week to get those grocery bargains to offset the inflation. But the one thing when we travel, one of the biggest tips that we have for you is that when we're looking for cruises or plane flights or hotel rooms, we do something sneaky. We have a VPN. In fact, we have NordVPN. And with NordVPN and also using a private internet browsing window, we beat them every time because they can't put cookies on our computers. So if we get a price 
it's totally anonymous. And the, the next time we go on that website, they don't know we've been there before. So they're having to give us their best price at that time. NordVPN is a really good VPN to load onto all your tech devices. You just open it up, choose a location that's um, either in your country or a foreign country, open a private browsing window, and you are totally protected. We find if we're traveling, um, say if we're at the airport or in a hotel, once we are going through NordVPN, they don't know where we are. They can't track our history. They can't go on and see who we're Googling on our iPads. They can't go on from the hotel that we're in to see. We feel that that's a good safety for us. There's lots of yeah. people out there trying to hack your uh, yeah. technology. And NordVPN is a great way of putting an extra layer of security between you and the World Wide Web. For all of our viewers... 30-day trial, which is awesome. And there's a... With a money yeah, back guarantee. So really, it's a no-brainer. Click yeah. this link yeah. in the description and you will get your 30-day free trial. Oh, number three. Oh, this is a really interesting one, Norm, because one so many people like to do, and that is going out and buying new cars. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves that smell of the new car I love and it. they don't really think of how much money they're paying for it or how quickly the car is going to depreciate as soon as you drive it off the lot. What we have seen is the used cars now, the interest rates on those, we were looking recently, and they're up at 7% in Ontario, Canada, some dealerships. 7%? Isn't it? Yeah. So... What our strategy has been is to use some of our investment money, take a small portion, buy a two-year-old car, buy something modest, um, and pay cash for it so we don't have any payments. Don't have to worry about is the money in the bank to pay the car payment. And we just don't feel as though we need to keep up with the Joneses. No. And it's really worked for us. We've been really happy. And that is one of those extra things that can really help you if you're on your road to retirement too. It can. Yeah. So a two-year-old car, yeah. ours that we got, yeah. is two-year-old, an ex-rental car, yeah. um, a Hyundai Elantra hatchback. We got it half price. We did. And it was only two years old. And we really don't put a lot of miles on it, do we? No, we walk everywhere. <laughs> It's been a really good investment for us, so we are suggesting that that could help you too. Number four yep. has kept us healthy by not eating out in restaurants or going to the coffee shop every morning for an expensive coffee and donut. Mm. Although we do have the odd donut every now and then. We do, especially, Norm, if we're going up to the trailer or if we're having days out, we do treat ourselves. But, but we share that Boston Creek. Yeah. <laughs> but we don't do it on a regular basis, do we? And of course, the alternative for having the fancy coffee at your favorite establishment is brew it at home yeah. and putting it, put it in a coffee mug and take it with you. Sure. It's, so, pen it's pennies instead of dollars. Yeah. But what we have found is when we do go to restaurants, more and more it's becoming a disappointing experience. The service isn't as good. No. Food isn't as good. Although we do have a couple of favorites. Yes. We do not eat out every month. Simple as that. We prefer home-cooked meals. It, we can control the ingredients that are in there. And we are watching our weight and our health as well. Plus, you have to remember, Norm is a fabulous cook. So the meals are great. Yes, so when you've got great cooking at home, why spend your money to go out? And those coffee shop trips, they're, well, they're getting real expensive now. You, you can easily spend $5 on a coffee. I'm sure you can spend more than that as well. Yeah. And uh, mounts up. It really does. It does. So number five, tech expenses. Buying too much technology, too expensive technology. This is true because a lot of people, instead of just keeping, say, the cell phone that they've got and the package they've got, 
They want the next and better cell phone. Oh, we've got to get that new iPhone team. Got to keep up. I hear they're bringing iPhone 15 out, so they... Oh, you've only just got the other one. No. And mine is a lot older. But instead of just always wanting the next and best thing, maybe the one that you've got is perfectly okay. And maybe you don't need to spend 100 or 150 on mm. the package each month. Maybe a 15 or $20 package is perfectly ample for you. We, We've found that, haven't we? We can see our yeah. kids who yeah. have cell phone packages bordering on $100 a month with God knows how many gigabytes of data. And We recently got Tina a phone for an emergency for when she's maybe out uh, in the car shopping and uh, this sort of thing. And so we went to public mobile. And we got it planned for fifteen dollars a month, with a hundred megabytes of a uh, no, hundred minutes of Canada-wide calling, and uh, she doesn't need data. So, fifteen dollars, we have a phone that works now, and we were given the phone by our son. So, uh, low investment. <laughs> yeah. Also, our internet at home. We do a lot of stock photography. We do YouTube. We yeah. we have to upload this video to YouTube in 4K often. And we can do that. We can stream Prime, Netflix, whatever we want. And we're only buying 150 megabytes per second service. We used to have one gigabyte service, and it was uh, $109. Yeah, it was a lot of money, wasn't it? And we only went with that package to begin with because it was a special deal, wasn't it? Right. So we did go with it. But after the special deal finished, we changed it. And we are now, I'm going to say, saving, what, $50, $60 a month? Well, our plan is 30, $35 a month yeah. instead of 109 yeah. yeah. It's just too easy to buy too much that you don't need. But you do have to shop around, don't you, Norm? Um, and Norm's very good at finding these deals. And that's why we use the VPNs, because yeah. we're invisible to uh, the competition. So in closing, what we'd like to say is that just try and making some new habits. Maybe reduce your cell phone, reduce your internet, or just make do with what you already have and be grateful for that. Remember, things are, plenty of things are free, like walking. We do that every day that we can. Yeah. And we really enjoy it. And while you're out walking, you're exercising, you're talking. Yeah. And you're getting the fresh air. And it's a great way to start the day. And we don't take our cell phones with us when we walk. We we like to be away from technology for that hour anyway. That's nice. So don't let these five things keep you poor. And maybe we're just telling you these things suggesting mm -hmm. so maybe you could do an audit of your own tech advice and and see what you can do without what you can reduce and whether you can save some money so anyway we hope that everybody is keeping well and staying safe and until the next time bye-bye bye-bye